Good morning, it's Thursday the 30th of June and that takes me through to day number 303. That's 303 or 365 of me taking my morning shower out in the garden or wherever I am with cold water from the hose every day for a whole year, no matter what the weather. And this is all to try to raise some money for the RNLI, try and raise awareness of water safety and drowning prevention messages, and also to try to encourage responsible use of the drainage and sewer network. Today I've got a change of scenery. I'm over at the new fire station in Ramsgate. Uh, where better to go for cold water and hoses and some moral support than your local fire station. So I've got the team in the background here. Give us a wave, guys. And maybe a cheer and a wave. Better. So we've got a standard fire and rescue service paraphernalia in the background, a, a pump for example. Um, but I'm going to take you inside to talk to John about what's going on here today. Stand by. Good. Uh, so we're um, inside the Ramsgate fire station and we've got some training going on today and I want to introduce you to John who's going to explain just a bit about what's going on and why it seemed appropriate or a good opportunity for me to come over and make use of the facilities here. Over to you, John. Yeah, good afternoon, Chu. Yeah, I'm John Potticari. I work for Kent Fire and Rescue Service. I'm the lead hazmat advisor in Kent. Um, I'm here to support Guy today. So we're doing some mass decontamination training in the background here. And he's going to use our uh, MD4, which is our decontamination structure, to, to have a shower, a cold shower. Sounds amazing. Uh, get decontaminated in the, what do you call it, an MD4? MD4. MD4. I'm going to get one of those for my back garden. Uh, so we come outside, and this is an MD4 decontamination unit. Uh, John, have, have I got that right? That's right, yeah, and I'm afraid it's all Amazing. cold water. Afraid it's all cold water. Yeah. Is it as cold as you can get it? It's as cold. Really as cold. cold. Straight out of the hydrant. John, would you go in it? No. Would you do this at all? No. Not even at this time of year? We're, we're all here to support you. Amazing, thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Just like to add that normally we decontaminate people for 15 minutes. 15 minutes, okay. I can probably cope with... A percentage of 15 minutes let's go for it yeah. thanks john good luck see you inside thank you i've got four birthdays to mention today so first off a massive birthday shout out to my cousin matt matt addington happy birthday mate i hope you have an amazing day today hope you get thoroughly spoiled claire cardwell happy birthday claire i hope you have a terrific day lined up lee button i'm sure i'll see you lee over the next couple of days have an amazing day today lee and sally flitch sally i've not seen you for just a little while i hope you're well I hope today brings you everything you wanted to. Happy birthday to you, Sally. Here goes shower in a decontamination unit number 303. Here goes. Okay, you can have water on. Yeah. So that's it from me for today, at day number 303. A massive thank you to Kent Farm Rescue Service for the use of the decontamination system it made for a different shower, fairly brutal. Thank you, Kent Farm Rescue Service. Matt, Claire, Sally and Lee, have a terrific birthday. I hope they bring to you everything you wanted to. That's it from me. Bye-bye for now. See you again tomorrow. So since today I'm over at a fire station, it seems only sensible to take the opportunity to learn a bit about fire safety and fire safety in the home. So to that end, I'm out here with my great friend, Joe Bathurst, who's going to give you a few hints and tips on how to keep fire safe in your own home. Over to you, Joe. Thanks, Guy. Uh, well done for today, by the way. Uh, yeah, Kent Fire Rescue are more than happy to support you because your messages uh, sit really nicely with what we want to get across to people about uh, safety in the water, but also, the important thing is about safety in the home, so the main thing is about testing your smoke alarm. Uh, so it's really easy to do. Get a smoke alarm if you haven't already got one um, and test it regularly. 
And if you want to check out some more uh, safety tips for home, go to our website. The link will be below. Can we put that in below? And we'll uh, link in you. Yeah, just go to that, and um, it will tell you all about how to keep yourself safe at home. So check your smoke alarms. Make sure your exits are clear. So if you need to get out in a hurry, you can. Um, and just uh, yeah, there's some stuff on there about kitchen safety as well, and all things like that. So uh, yeah, check out the website. Fantastic, thank you Jason. My smoke alarm, Joey, they keep bibbing all the way through the night, so all I do is just go and take the battery out. Is that not recommended? No, absolutely not. So replace your smoke alarm, replace your battery once a year, whether it, whether it needs it or not. But these ones that we fit, uh, aren't, they can't replace batteries, they last for 10 years. Uh, so go to our website, book a home fire safety visit, and the crew will come round and uh, they will fit your smoke alarm if we need to, and they'll give you a bit of uh, advice about how to keep safe in your home as well. We're here at Ramsgate Fire Station today, 27th of July, they're holding their open day, so do come along and you can visit the station and get some more safety advice and see what we do. Amazing, thank you Joe, and don't forget the dates for the open day, that's amazing. See you all again tomorrow, bye bye for now.